Yeah, so I think a lot of folks wonder, you know, what sort of AI we use, and AI is a buzz buzzword. I've been studying AI for 20-something years um, as sort of a hobby, and uh, our CTO, Stephen Gendner, has been doing machine vision AI type stuff his entire career, which is over 30 years. And so the question is, how do we use that in our robots? Well, we were using it in our robots before it became a buzzword the last few years. And so how do we define AI? There's a lot of different ways to define it, and there's a lot of different ways to look at this with Greenfield. But one of them is this. Simply said, when we drop robots off at a field, we don't, humans don't make the decisions where they're going to go. Humans do not make real-time decisions if they encounter something new necessarily. The robots, let's say we have to skip a row. Maybe there was a rainstorm and there was water in a row. Once we determine there's water in the row, the robots take that out and the other ones to readjust where they're going through the field real time. There's no human capable of doing those calculations. The other things we do is we have a watcher function. And so the watcher function we've been teaching and it looks backwards through camera and it's trying to figure out if something happened to the crop by looking behind the robot, just as another safeguard. The last thing I'll mention, or actually there's probably a couple more here, but I could go through, but another one is when we fly those fields and we scan them with the drone, we have to use machine vision to determine where those rows are. And if you look at these scans with the human eye, uh, you're not gonna be able to draw a straight line. One, you couldn't draw it even if you could see the crop clearly, um, but uh, definitely if you can't see the crop clearly. So we use machine vision and basically an AI um, that can go in there and, and figures out where those rows are. There's going to be a lot more of this coming. We've developed a lot of things to, to basically set these robots up to teach themselves about the fields. And so you're going to see more and more of that data collection. But initially we design our system to be as simple as possible to get over as many acres as possible because just like the large language learning models, Basically, the more acres we get over, the more data we collect, the more we can teach. And so our goal is to get over as many acres as we can, and the teaching accelerates.